I'm sure everyone remembered the SpongeBob episode Safe Deposit Crabs, the episode when Mr. Krabs got himself locked in a safe deposit. Unfortunately, Nickelodeon's website had a planned episode planned from 2003 to 2005. The episode in the website was titled Bankrupt. It would later be revived as Safe Deposit Crabs, which released later in 2014. From October 23, 2003 to December 12, 2005, one of the writers of Nickelodeon accidentally released the episode, one month before it was planned to be released, on October 30, 2003. It was a quiet afternoon in 2013, ten years after the removal of the supposed episode of Spongebob, I was on YouTube and on Paint.net, drawing and listening to some dubstep, death metal or breakcore, don't ask, why I listen to breakcore. I suddenly got a message on DeviantArt from one of my fans of my art named, Ratchet Retro, who said this, Nick's in some deep trouble, look at 2003 in October. I replied with, what's going on with Nick? That's, when he hit me with a reply that was so chilling, my spine actually tingled, Spongebob's new episode is different, might wanna check it out. Thanking my friend, I went on to the Wayback Machine and went on Nick.com, where I placed the timeline to 2003. October, I was in shock on what I saw. There, sitting on the front page was this message and download link, new Spongebob episode MP4 download, check it out here. The link was off, the ad was from Adfly which was a website shorter, I went to it and... My computer began to freak out, one of the worst viruses. The mouse froze, the screen glitched crazily and then it switched to the blue screen of death. Must be a shady link, I thought to myself. All of a sudden, I heard the mailbox went up, and I got up and checked the mail, for some reason. I got a small package and a note, I checked the note and it said this to whom clicked the link, this is the episode you are looking for in the disk format. We couldn't post it on a link, as it contained viruses. We apologize for any inconvenience. Mr. Lawrence, aka the voice of Plankton, I opened the package and checked the disk, when I noticed that it looked like a burned disk, I went to my backup computer and insert the disk, for about 2 hours of rewinding, I hit play and sat down, curious on the episode. The theme song played as normal, but as soon as the theme song ended, the seagulls didn't made the normal call, and it said created by Paul Tibbet, which made me raise an eyebrow, as Steven Hillenburg created the show and Paul Tibbet directed, produced and wrote. I moved on. The screen slowly faded in with a blue title card saying, Bankrupt, in a red font. It jump cuts to outside of the Krusty Krab with Mr. Krabs playing with his money bowling, he said to himself and maybe the audience. Nothing suits me more than this stack of cash and some cash alone. As he was about to do it again, SpongeBob burst through the door with a panicked expression, he said out of breath. Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs. You have a letter. Mr. Krabs replied with, Boy, you need to stop scaring the audience. I rose another eyebrow, was he talking to us? My question was interrupted, when the screen snapped to black with Mr. Krabs screaming, the camera positions to Mr. Krabs' letter. It read, Dear Eugene Krabs, You haven't paid a single dollar on our taxes and mortgage. In response, we have decided to condemn you, both your house and the Krusty Krab. Thank you for supporting us over the years. Sincerely. NBBB. The National Bank of Bikini Bottom. Mr. Krabs let out a sigh and went outside his office, he called out for Spongebob and Squidward, he then said out of the blue. We're gonna have to shut down the Krusty Krab. Forever. Spongebob gasped, and Squidward smiled. Is this true? Squidward said gleefully. Mr. Krabs nodded, as Squidward danced for a second before laughing and running outside comedically. The bubbles came up and showed the repo men taking everything from the Krusty Krab and his home, both at the same time before driving off in the distance. It cut to Mr. Krab's face tearing up, as he cried, out of character. Girl sat down in the middle of the remains and patted Mr. Krab's back, as she said. It's gonna be alright, Mr. Krab's. Things would get better, I'm sure of it. Mr. Krab's sniffles and sighs. It cuts to a montage of Mr. Krabs getting more and more depressed each week, as mellow and sad music plays. The final scene showed Mr. Krabs sitting on an apartment bed, he was reaching into a cabinet nearby. 
He shuffles through stuff and then he ends up picking up a butcher knife. He puts the butcher knife close to himself. With one slice, you could hear a crash noise and a scream from Mr. Krabs. The episode ended with a shot of Mr. Krabs' first dollar bill, now covered in cartoon blood, as it slowly fades out and shows the credits. I rarely had no reaction, but it was definitely screwed up. So I put the DVD back in the sleeve and placed it somewhere safe and far away. About a few months later, I received a message from one of the writers of Spongebob, Paul Tibbetts, who said, the person in the beginning. It's not me. I didn't make the episode. We don't have an episode named Bankrupt, neither did we make one like you claimed. It was someone else, an ex-employee. He was pissed. 